I'll grab that. What caliber is it? friends didn't see you there welcome to demolition ranch this is a devil dog arms rifle it is called the dda 15 and it's pretty sweet 16 inch barrel has an adjustable gas block has a fax and firearms barrel timney trigger devil dogs makes the upper and lower you can see it's kind of skeletonized but not skeletonized so you don't get dirt all in there Kind of cool, pretty lightweight rifle. We put a Vortex 128 on it, as well as a loophole canted sight on the side over here. We thought this thing kind of had a three gun feel. It has some high quality parts, a nice bolt carrier group that's coated, so it's real slick. Let me open it up for you. You can see real nice, slick bolt carrier group. Has a Timney trigger. So we thought it kind of had a three gun feel, which is why we put the optic on top and then a a short range canted optic on the side so you can hit your long range and then transition, which I'm actually terrible at. I was practicing trying to get fast at it and I, it takes me a bit to like get used to switching between optics, but I think it's a skill that I would like to acquire, so I probably need to practice some more. Today, we actually have uh, one of my favorite kind of episodes. We are testing more Wish.com armor. It is always terrible, not always, sometimes it's fine but it is usually terrible and it's always fun because uh, just basically the descriptions are total garbage. You wanna see what we got? Up first, we got the Hunter Orange version of this one. Uh, pictured though is the tan version. This says European and American big hits, high quality US Army military tactical vest, anti-stab, hard self-defense clothing, bulletproof security equipment, men, <laughs> tactical vest, bulletproof vest, mountaineering, vest. So that pretty much explains everything you need to know. But if you want a little more explanation, let me tell you. This says it has a protective baffle in here. Here is your protective baffle. That'll really protect you from a lot of things. Okay, so the protective baffle is a piece of foam, which is what we found on a lot of these Wish armors. Oh, this one also, um, for the low, low price of $27, we got this awesome bulletproof uh, mountaineering vest. I don't know what mountaineering means. Description, 100% new high quality. In case you were wondering if it was like 90% new high quality, no, it's, it's, this is a 100% new high quality. This makes no color as the picture shows. <laughs> nope, <laughs> ours is not even as the picture shows. Camouflage, thin section. What is that? There's no camouflage on this. Material. <laughs> This thing is made out of hard alloy steel plus wearable, wearable Oxford cloth. There ain't no hard alloy steel in this. Liner, cushioning material, plus stab resistant material. So you got some cushioning material and the stab resistant material, so you, you know you're good. I was thinking maybe these buckles were, or these like things were steel, but they're definitely plastic. So there ain't no steel in this. The size, one size, can adjustable the shoulder and waist. <laughs> This is so good, I love these. Protection level, 24 joules kinetic energy. I don't know what that means. Stab area, GT, 0.3 square meters. We don't measure in that here, so I don't, I don't know what that means either. Uses, anti-dagger, also three-ling knife, also machete, and other weapons. This is used for all, all kinds of other weapons. Using the environment, the dagger attack protection, terrorist attacks <laughs> protection. Protect the body away from harm. Thank goodness it's protecting us away from harm. And we have a review from Pat uh, from nine months ago. Pat said, very quick delivery, good quality vest. Four out of five stars. All right, we'll see if we give this a four out of five as well. Uh, thank you for um, your input, Pat. I have a feeling that Pat is not a real person. The back also has foam. Next up, don't look at the, no, 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 don't look at, do not look at that. No, don't. 
just look at this one. We're gonna, we'll get to that one in a minute. That's my favorite one. This one, uh, well first, I don't wanna show you what's on the front of it because it says what we saw, four lens, military goggles, bulletproof army sports, sunglasses, tactical eyewear, motorcycle, cycling goggles. Really all I saw was bulletproof and $17. So we ordered this one. It came in a Daisy US military case. Daisy, which is, that is their logo also, makes BB guns for kids. I don't know that Daisy does do any US military work. <laughs> I feel like uh, someone in China may have just ripped off um, that Daisy logo because they saw it on a BB gun. They're like, ah, it's a gun company. We'll just put Daisy and write military underneath it and those Americans will buy it. And they did. So not only are they bulletproof, they also say UV 400 protective lenses. All right, let's see these things. Oh, wow. Polarized, reduces glare. They still say Daisy. These actually might be some rebranded BB gun glasses. Look at this foam on the inside. <laughs> that better be super comfy. It's not super annoying having all that touching my face right now. But do I look good? Yeah? No? Oh. Okay, never mind. Uh, also, they said there were more lenses in here. Oh, there are. Oh, shoot, dog. We got clear lenses, we got some light shaded lenses, and we got the yellers. This feels bulletproof. I was hoping I could stick it in there, but I can't. That's what he said. It came with uh, some straps, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those on. How does this even work? Put those on so that when I'm operating, um, I don't lose my glasses. And they uh, pretty much, in the actual big description, they don't really say much about uh, bulletproof anymore. So I think um, I think these are totally not going to be bulletproof. I think it's a sham. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna put my put my uh, yellows on though. How do you pop these out? Got it. Got it done. Um, now when it's low light conditions, I do this, and when it's a little bright outside, I do this. Let's move on uh, to. Yeah, this one's my favorite. High quality outdoor game hunting field battle black and tan armored vest bulletproof vest. Also, um, it is of note that it is the perfect war design. I can't, I can't talk to you guys with this. It is a perfect war design. And they've got this freaking model wearing his swim trunks and uh, has his revolver in his hand and has an armband for some reason. <laughs> and um, he's being hit with a full cartridge. It looks like, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe a 500 mag, just a whole, it's like someone chunked a 500 Magnum at him, like with the, the brass and all, and it's hitting him. This is a perfect war design, new. How do these people not know that when bullets fly through the air, they do not do this? I don't know how they don't know this yet. I've been trying to tell you so you can sell better products to dumb Americans. Come on, guys. Also, why is the perfect war design guy wearing a swimsuit? Come on. Oh, I know why he's wearing a swimsuit. Because it says multifunctional vest is waterproof. <laughs> they want you to go swimming in this. Breathable, wearproof. Don't worry guys, you can wear this and it won't fall apart. Windproof, what? <laughs> hey guys, this vest, you should buy this one. Oh, by the way, it only costs $64, but it's a little more expensive than the other ones because they are not windproof. This one is. Fine quality material to keep warm. This guy really looks like he's worried about being cold right now. It was designed for honorable person CS. If you're an honorable person who wants to go swimming with your body armor, I got the one for you. Strong button rivet, secure plates to vest platform. That's talking about these. All these like snap looking things or how these little plates, oh yeah, there's the back. It's how these plates are hooked on, which it looks cool. You gotta give it to them. It looks very neat. Um, these are, just in case you're wondering, I'm pretty sure these are just really thin rubber or foam. Um, we'll find out in a little bit. Cobra buckles hold shoulder straps securely. They do have these like Cobra buckles like knockoffs. I mean, that looks cool. They got that on the shoulder straps and on the waist down here. It's neat looking. Oh my gosh, guys. This is the perfect platform for a lightweight loadout. <laughs> this futuristic body armor looks extremely aggressive when paired with the right accessories, like actual body armor or an armband, wristband that's on your arm. The provided Molly webbing provides just enough real estate for pouches without overdoing it. I guess that, that's kind of true, yeah. Making this vest ideal for the high speed operator. That's me! The hard neoprene armor plates, so that's what they are, neoprene armor plates provide comfortable protection without weighing you down. Like I feel like this is trying to look like a motorcycle armor. 
because like there's holes in it where bullets would easily go through but it keeps saying it's bulletproof and it's made for the high-speed operator but like it looks kind of like a motor but it also doesn't it looks like a mix between a motorcycle armor and body armor they just forgot to put any body armor in it coordinate with the vest with the belt and you have the ultimate high-speed loadout for close quarter battles field games and anything in between so anything in between war and games this is the vest for you we got the vest but it also said it came with an excess excess prize box we did not get our excess prize box so i want my money back that one's gonna do great we'll do that one last all you guys know that i am a master with a gun but a well-kept secret is i'm actually a master with throwing knives whoa shoot sorry cameraman that got you right you okay i think so okay yeah yeah <laughs> Right in the crotch. Okay, um, I'm actually a master with an axe, too. If he was this much taller, he would have been dead. Only one of those hit him good. Uh, I don't know what this is. A little Adam's apple protector, in case you need that. So this actually did cut that first layer. Let's see if it went through the stab-proof armor. Hit right there. Actually, yeah, it did. It went through. But, I mean, it didn't let the knife into his body, which is good. It did not go through the second level layer. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just going to throw that axe one more time. Not because I missed and hit right here. Because um, I didn't. Just because the sun was in my eyes and the wind blew it out of the way. And One more throw. Okay, okay. He, he moved. He moved. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> right in the femoral artery, just as I planned. So I always do that first to take him down. Um, so I just, that's that's kind of my game plan is take him down, you know, hit him right in the leg. They go down quick. And then you throw the second axe and that's the kill shot. So this is the kill shot. <laughs> uh, the next one's going to be the kill shot. I actually I always do double leg uh, just in case the... First one didn't stick him hard enough. I just hit him one more time in the leg and then kill shot. He's dead. Right there. I like to just open him up right, you know, above the belly button. Uh, yeah, oh my gosh. <laughs> not stab proof, not ax proof, and probably not bulletproof as well. Let's shoot it with a bullet though, just to be sure. 22 long rifle out of the mini Uzi, which is a fake Uzi, so it's a Fousey. It's a loser Uzi. It's a Luzi. It's definitely not a cool Uzi. AKA a koozie. Uh, this thing's also hard to aim. Ah! I bet he's dead. We have just a couple hits on target, but don't worry guys, he's wearing a bulletproof vest. Oh. Hmm. Oh, uh, well no need to go on to the next test. Uh, it won't stop knives, axes, bullets, or haters comments. Up next are the Four Lens Military Goggles Bulletproof Glasses. And we just found this in the box. It says, wear glasses to see beautiful pattern. You guys ready? Here, put these on. Look at that beautiful pattern. Not there. There. Not. Gosh, that is a beautiful pattern. Back to the 22. We are going at the glasses now, which are definitely bulletproof. Not good. That is a whole, oh man. <laughs> Next test, whether you like it or not, this is the perfect war design.
that was an arm hit. We are going to now though run up. I'm gonna just try to get through the perfect war design with an ax. See what we can do. Oh, oh dang it. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Jeez, that's really in there. Okay. Oh, dang it! Sorry about that. Sorry. I had my eyes closed both this time. I'll open them this time. Oh, okay. Now it, it just cut that. It cut that right in half. Turns out it is made of foam. Perfect war foam, though. Let's go ahead and shoot it with a 22. It's obviously going to go right through, but we just have to know. Hit, 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 all here. Um, we hit some in the cloth too. Yeah, they all went through. Um, and also this one, best case scenario, hit him right on that rivet. Uh, it also just pushed the rivet through, let the bullet go right through his body and out the back. I'm not a scientist per se. I would say this is not a 100% perfect war design. There's a few improvements that I would make if I was gonna make it. Like, like make it bulletproof. Well, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to shoot that bulletproof armor with an AR, so let's just take some long range shots down here. Got it. Sweet. We're gonna try hitting long range, transitioning short range as fast as I can. Not gonna be fast. Got it, okay, that was good. Yeah, I'll take some practice. So trigger is nice, has a Timney trigger. Uh, we have had zero failure to fire or do anything. This thing runs great. Overall, I think a very solid AR. Thank you Devil Dog Arms for sending this to us. This is the DDA. 15 from Devil Dog Arms with a vortex and a loophole up on top of it. I like it. Good little package. Uh, Wish.com. This time, three out of three failures. Usually have, we have one that is real armor. These were all total lies, which is always good. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Let me know if you want to see some more Wish.com armor because these are always fun for us to do. Fun for us to find out where the scams are and where the actual value is in wish.com. Also linked in the description is this shirt. Get it while it's hot. Thanks for watching Dimbo's Ranch. I love you. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> it's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell mayor. <laughs>